Hi, I'd like to take you on a little tour of the Instant Chord Finder. It's very easy to understand. As you can see, I have it open on my desktop. Uh, and a desktop is a good place to put it, too, so you can always find it. It, it. Let me close that. And after you download it, you'll see a little icon like this. And all you do is double-click on that icon, and it, you get the standard Microsoft message that says, Do you trust this publisher? And you say, Run. And there it is. Very simple. <clears throat> very innocuous. And uh, you'll see it's divided into uh, three parts. There's the staff. There's the keyboard, and then there's the uh, buttons down here that you click on. For example, let's say that we want the C chord. <clears throat> we would click on that C right there. It, it's already clicked, so let me click on D. If I wanted the C chord, I'd click on C, and the notes of the C uh, chord appear in the treble clef, and they appear on the keyboard, and this shows where the root note of the uh, key is. Uh, you could, if you want to see what they look like in the bass clef, you just click this bass clef sign, and there are the notes in the bass clef, C, E, G, and there they are. And you can tell this part of the keyboard is uh, is lit up, so it's in the bass clef. We could toggle it back to the treble clef, and you see that's lit up, and there are the notes in the treble clef, and there are the notes of the C triad. If you want to see the notes of the C triad upside down, in other words, inverted, click on first inversion and you see now C has gone from the bottom note to the top note but it's still the C chord. If you want to know what the second inversion of the C chord is you click on number two and there's the C chord upside down the second time called second inversion and there's the C in the middle. If you want to take it back to root click that again. That's true for any chord. If you want to know what the F major chord is, just click on F. If you want to know what the D flat chord is, click on D flat. If you want to know what the B chord is, click on B. If you want to know what the A flat major chord is, click on A flat. <clears throat> now let's say that we're, we're in the key of D, and we want to know what the scale of D is. We come over here and we click on the scale, and we have several scales to choose from. We can see the D major scale or the D minor harmonic minor melodic, a minor melodic down, or the pentatonic. And I encourage you to click on through all those, but I'll just click the, the major scale for now. I've, I've clicked, I selected it there, and I'm going to click select. And now we not only see the notes of the D chord, but we see all the notes of the D scale. That's useful when you're improvising to know what, what notes go with which chords. Okay, If I switch to G, and I want to know the notes of the G scale, there they are. Okay. If I want to know what the notes of the G minor scale are, there's the G minor chord, and there's the G minor scale. If I want to know what the notes of the A scale are, there's the A chord, and there's the A scale. Now, by the way, you can just put your mouse over any of those notes if you want to take off the gray for some reason. Uh, or you can just hit clear and that makes it all go away. Okay, So you can have the basic chords <coughs> here and then the extended chords here. So far we've just talked about major chords. Let's come back to C and let's say we want C 7th. Uh, there it is. C, E, G, and B flat. C major 7th. C, E, G, and B. And again we can turn these upside down if we want to. All these can be inverted any way we'd like. If we want to know what C minor is, there it is. There it is in second inversion. If we want to know what C minor seventh is, there it is. C minor sixth, C augmented, C diminished, C sus four, C seventh sus four, C sixth, C ninth, C eleventh, thirteenth, and so on. You see, it's very easy to understand. In five minutes, you'll be as good at this as I am. And there's not much to be good about. All you do is you point and click. So that's it for the Instant Chord Finder. It's really, I, I would have given my left hand for this. No, I wouldn't have because I play my chords with my left hand. But I would have given my left leg for this back when I was in college to have all this information. This is great music theory, and it's all on a concise chart on your desktop. Of course, you can get it out of a book, but you can't turn chords quickly upside down or determine what the scale is and the extensions and so on. So it's worth its weight in gold. So there's a little tour of the Instant Chord Finder.
Thanks for being with me. I'll say goodbye for now.